Mark and Bill, it's great to have a few minutes to talk about a subject that is really important to all of us, and that is trust. It just seems to me every time you open a business journal, there's an article about you know, the lack of trust in business and the crisis of trust in the wider world. So it's something we all need to react to, I think. You know, when you look at trust in this digital age, I mean, it really becomes exciting but dynamic, right? It's uh, no longer about just the trust between individuals. It's the trust between institutions, and that's enabled by the trust um, that comes with your customers, with your alliance partners, with your current employees and your former employees, and how you pull all that together and ensure that the dynamics play to enhance and enable trust. Right, and in a digital age, you, you lose a piece of that human interaction. You, you don't get to sit around a table and look eye to eye and have a conversation all the time. It's going through email, it's going through text or other some other form of media. And there's great risk and opportunity. Trust is fragile. Well, part of the, the trust agenda, though, is thinking through how technology is going to change the world. Um, because I think this role has to be helping people navigate in, into that future world um, and thinking through how um, public goods will be obtained in that new world. I, I couldn't agree more, and I think uh, oftentimes we engage in conversations now along the lines of just because I could, does that mean I should? And um, there's a lot of information available, uh, both internal and external, to all of our constituents as to how do you use that in, in, in the proper way in business. You know, as we think about trust in a digital age from a client's perspective, right, they're challenging themselves to say, do I have the right governance? to be in this digital world with information moving so quickly? Do I have the right structure? So there are significant challenges for our clients and we can help them navigate that in a very meaningful way. When I think about the role that data plays in the whole trust conversation, it's very intriguing because you know some analysts would estimate there's going to be more data created in the next two years than has been created in the history of mankind, right? So it's actually coming at us so incredibly fast with such large volumes. Most data, of course, is historic. It doesn't necessarily mean it's going to foretell the future, but there's still a big role for judgment, isn't there, and foresight. Human, human activities. <laughs> People want that predictive capability to say, okay, so what really is my risk? How do I see this coming? I know what happened in the past, but I also know there is a risk of disruption that that historical information may not give me the right insight. Yeah, so data uh, and AI can answer all the questions. Um, but I still think somebody has to know how to pose those questions. Right. <laughs> yeah. So despite all the changes, when I think about trust, uh, what I think is most important is what has always been most important, and that's personal integrity. When I think about trust, I think about the importance of quality and how critical it is. It takes so long to build a brand, and a slip in quality will do so much damage so quickly yeah, I think integrity and quality are incredibly important. I think the third element I might add when I think about trust is communication. Uh, and it's not only internal communication, but communication with all your stakeholders. Mm -hmm.